I looked out the window and I was like, there's something moving on the porch. And I watched the window and I was like, Michael, am I crazy or is there a chicken on the porch? Did anyone lose a chicken? Because it's on his porch and it's not his. Just showed up and that sounds absolutely crazy. Come on, man. Michael, remember that one time we found a chicken on your porch? Remember that one time he made friends with the chicken on my porch? Call off, y'all heard. But we didn't yeah. necessarily let him in the house. He kind of welcomed himself in the house. We'll just like let the dogs come in and out. And we had the door open. And I look up and he is just like walking in the bedroom. And I was like, oh my god, the chicken came in the house. Just jumped on the bed. Ronnie. No, don't pick my eye. Ronnie, the bathroom is in here. The shower is in here. I may have some clothes that fit you. Closet's right through here. Um, other than that, make yourself at home and enjoy your stay at the Crenshaw Casa. <laughs> Ronnie, we leave the door open for five minutes. He kept coming back, and so we were like, all right, we'll, we'll build him a house and let him come in the house after he made his own way in there. Seriously, there's a chicken in the house. He just built you that perch. Can you say thank you? Ronnie. I know we taught you better manners than that. Please tell him thank you. You're welcome. It is extremely comfortable in the house. It's his house now. And if he gets bored, he'll fly from the living room to the kitchen or get up on the light fixture. And I guess this is where he's staying tonight. Get on this and off of the ceiling fan. He never uh, ceases to entertain himself. Get on this. You're going to fall off. Oh, gosh. Now he'll just ride the swiffer down. So, elevator. I would say his personality is sassy. He's full of himself. He is 1,000% an attention hog. Can you please get down? And then he likes to stare at himself in the mirror. You gonna get him, Ron? Who was that looking back at you? got kind of attached to him pretty quick, threw a toy for the dogs one day, and he just ran after it. So we're like, all right, he's, he's family now. <laughs> Come on, Ronnie. In the yard, he follows us the whole time. He doesn't like to be alone. If we go inside, just leave him outside. He gets mad, and he'll jump up on the window and just peck the window. Hey, Ronnie. How do you doodle do? <laughs> he's always extremely vocal when he's by himself. He's just out there getting mad in his coop. Hey bud, we missed you. Get around, he's a totally different bird. He just wants to hang out and he'll just sit on my shoulder. Seriously, a red neck pirate. No parrot, just a chicken. Hey. Ronnie. Instead of missing an eye, I need to be missing a tooth. I'll just ride my shoulder around the house. He's a lot more docile when we're around. His entire demeanor changes. So I, I do believe he enjoys our company. I don't know at this point what we would do without Ron's company. We love Ron so much. So the only time we question our sanity is at 4.30 in the morning. Ronnie, get in here. There's people sleeping. Never really been a bird person. Yeah, ask us six months ago and we'd have laughed at the thing that we'd have a rooster coming in the house. The main question we get is, does he not poop everywhere? And I don't really know why, but he doesn't. I don't know if it's because it's small. We're like, well, maybe he's house trained. I don't know. Yeah, it's Ron's world, and we're just living in it.